How are you doing folks? Welcome back. Right, I'm going to do a wee West Highland Way cat, cat last. So basically, on my back, this is what I'm taking in the West Highland Way. Some folk might go lighter, some folk might go heavier. But tonight, I'm going to show you what's in my bag. Right, there'll be no, I can tell you now, there'll be no Petrovax SP32 pan. That weighs a ton. But I'm gonna I'm just basically putting some miles in, doing a wee bit of training, uh, and then I'll show you what the show you what's in my bag. So stay tuned. Right folks, so what have I got in my bag? Right, I weighed this before I come out tonight, so I've got it down to uh, 129.5 kilograms or 27.9 pounds. I've still got to put maybe two litres of water in it, so that's going to add a bit of weight. But I do have my Sawyer filter and things like that. But let's see what's in the bag. So, what have we got? Right. Top section in the hood, rain cover. Obviously it rains a lot in Scotland, so rain cover, pair of gloves, my Sawyer water filter, right, that way there's loads of streams etc, so I can fill up on the way, midget hat, life systems head net, it's actually a hat as well, you just get the midget net so it holds it off your face, great bit of kit. Hopefully there will be any midges, because we're going to you know, the start of May. Right, we wee bag just with a wee rubber sponge thing for cleaning them I've got, and some 3-in-1 coffees. Right, I've got these in my bags just now, but this is a company said these bliss socks. Very similar to, but you don't want to forget, it's Compeed Plasters, right, so these are supposedly a godsend in the West Island Way, 100 miles, if you're not used to walking you're going to get some blisters, so pack out a Compeed in these bus socks, but I'll be wearing them. Right, that's the top section of the bag. Right, side pockets. What we'll do is now, we'll, go, we'll do the back section. Back section, I've got my Z Packs Duplex uh, Dyneema Fabric 10. So that only comes in at 539 grams. So nice and lightweight. Right, a can of deodorant, I'll put that actually in the bag with my other for the toiletries. I've just brought a pair of those X Army mats, waterproof Gore-Tex mats. Just no off chance it's a total downpour. Right, a pair of Berghaus waterproof trousers. I treat it myself. Oh, sorry. No, that's the Rab. That's the Rab downpour jacket. So I can a lighter weight jacket. I'm going to take this jacket. Just no off chance it gets cold. This stuff, this kind of packs up nice and small. Right, so but on top of that, I've got an outer shell rab downpour jacket. The Berghouse waterproof trousers. That's what's on the back. Anything else? No. Nope. I've obviously got my walking poles. Because basically that tent is up with walking poles, so, I don't, so I'm not taking any poles. Main section of the bag. MSR Alpine fry pan. I might take this or I might swap that out for the wee lightweight uh, non stick. Puts it off the, the Tangier set. I might even swap that out if it was another couple of grams. Obviously, I'm not taking a chair with me. So, one of these wee foam mats, ideal for kneeling on, sitting on.
from here, electrics, head torch, my anchor battery charger, plug and a cable, just to restore anywhere I can kind of charge it up again. That's about six uh, freeze dried meals. Right, we're going to be stopping along the way. I'm just bringing these on the off chance that I might need them. Right, I mean, you know how I like a wee snack later on, so I'll take that. But there will be stops along the way that we can stock up with food. Right, a wee plate. I shall sit inside that. Cooking set. What all the stuff I'm going to be cooking with. So I'm glad we got all this packed. Right, I've got pretty big Q titanium mug, and inside that I've got a set of titanium cutlery, not knife, spot spoon, knife, fork spoon, sorry. Just a wee foldable knife, just in case I need to cut in up. Change of clothes. Right, so in here I've got a lightweight fleece, two pairs of socks, two pairs of pants, two pairs of uh, two wicking t shirts, and I've, I'm going to take a spare pair of walking trousers with me, as well as the, obviously what we're we'll wearing when I start off. Right. In here, I'm gonna get it out. Got a down sleeping bag, just a Chinese down sleeping bag. No point in taking my big winter thing. So in there, I've got the down sleeping bag, my climate static V recon insulated mat, and one of these we can uh, I think it's a trichology pillow. Right. I'm also going to stick in one of those wee kind of foil, you know these kind of foil kind of mat things you can get for underneath. Two side pockets. I've got two of these Nalgene bottles. Right, so they'll hold a litre each. Right, one of them's for water, the other one's for wine. Right, because I think what we're going to do Obviously we'll stop along the way and we'll kind of stock up and wind and things like that but again to cut down on the weight we'll do, I'll we'll pour the wine into this right, rather than you having to carry a glass bottle and again if you take a glass bottle with you you're going to have to carry it further to, to when you get to your next stop to, to you find a bin right so two of them walk poles in the back and that's basically what I'm taking in the West Highland Way. So what I'll do, I'll pan you around, I'll lay it all out, and I'll just show you all the way down the ground. I'll be honest, I'm quite impressed. Maybe not, I dare say there's folk can go lighter, but compared to the pack I usually take, I've got a big 105 uh, rucksack, Osprey rucksack, and I always pack that to the gunnels, and take half the stuff I take I don't need, and I, there's no way I would be taking that on a 100 mile hike. But, that I think I'll manage. It's actually quite good, even though it's... What weight did I say it was? I've lost a wee bit of papers. Aye, 27.9 pounds per 100... I'm saying 129.5 kilograms. Was that 12.9 kilograms? Aye. Who knows? It's under 13 anyway. But, Oh, before I, before I lay it out, I've got toiletries. Right, so in there, I've got a packet of those wipes, toothbrush, toothpaste. I'll stick that deodorant in there. And that's basically a toilet. Oh, and a, a microfiber towel. And 
we bought up all grow. Just an off chance. I'm going to need, I need to dig a hole. Right, another good bit of advice that I got was stick everything in dry bags. Right, that way, because it is going to pour with rain, it's not all going to get soaked to the skin. Right, let's burrow it down and I'll lay it all out, show you exactly what it is all the way down. So, folks, that's my kit for the West Highland Way. Right, so, sleeping system. So, that's sleeping bag, pillow, inflatable trichology pillow, climate uh, sleeping pad. That is. That's my toilet trays. Change of clothes. Some of those freeze dried meals. Sorry, that's my change of clothes. That's my tent. Midget, rain cover, gloves, Gore-Tex mitts. Forgot to say a wee hat just for the top of my head. Berghouse waterproof trousers. Rab downpour jacket. A frying pan. A little plate. My cooking system, my charger, anchor, eh, battery charger, eh, well, my anchor charger thing. Some three in one coffees, my Sawyer water filter, compete plasters, two Nalgene bottles, and the foam mat. So, folks, that's what's coming with me in the West Island Way. 100 miles, bring it on. So that's my cut. So fingers crossed we manage the 100 miles. I'm quite sure they will. Put it this way, that packs half the weight of what I'm normally carrying. carrying. Really, I've been totally ruthless and I've just I've took it down to the bare minimum. Nobody taking any big fancy heavy pans. I might even, or well, even that pan I've got just now, I might even swap that out for an even lighter pan. Anything you can just shave a few grams. Basically the lighter you can go the better I think. But, you've obviously got there's certain things you've got to take with you. But I'm pretty pleased with what I've got that down to. Obviously I've still got water eh, to go in that. But we drink that along the way and there's, there's plenty of streams. Good thing about the, the Sawyer filter, like I say, is that you can fill up on the way. Same with food wise, there's going to be stops along the way, there'll be wee shops that we can stock up and grub. I dare say we'll probably stop up for a few a few pints and a few a few drinks along the way as well. A couple of pub lunches. You know what it's like. But we do plan to welcome the whole thing. Oh, I, I really am, I'm so looking forward to it. But that's this video, just a, a wee short one, just basically to show you what I'm taking in the West Highlands way. So, that's Scottish Wild Campers kit for the West Highlands way. Thanks for tuning in folks. Comments below if you think that's alright, or if you think there's such, anything I could change, anything to make it lighter, anything you think that I've forgotten, anything, oh, he's not brought that. Comment below. But that's it. Not for me babbling on. Thanks for watching. If you like the wee video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for future notifications. You know the score. Not long now, we'll be hitting the West Island Way. Thanks for watching, folks. See you in the next one. Adios.